Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming each one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. I thank you all for all your love, your like, your subscribes. Thank you so very much for sharing my content, commenting on it and all the beautiful donations that come to me. I truly am very grateful to all the love that you shower upon me. So today in this reading, what I am actually bringing about is a Law of Attraction Terror reading. What I'm going to look at is what is the current vibration that you have and what is it that you are emitting out into the universe by means of your dominant thoughts, your feelings and your subconscious patterning something that you can be more open to receiving, the next steps, and how you can manifest more powerfully, and some guidance messages from your higher self, from source energy, spirit. I'll bring all of that in in this tarot reading. So let's begin. So let's start with the first question that is, what is the current vibrational state? What is the energy and the vibration that you are emitting in the universe right now? I'll take a few because there is a full collective watching this. Let's see. So your current vibrational energy, see what resonates. It doesn't have to be all. It can be, but doesn't have to be. Let's begin with this one that I had seen first, and that is the Two of Wands. I'm feeling like for some of you, you have been wanting to proceed, move forward in a new direction in your life. This could be related to your work, your education, your career, your relationship, or just within yourself, perhaps even relocation. You're wanting to have a completely different life, a different thing. I'm, I'm seeing a complete change. You're wanting almost as if a overhaul in your life. And with that inkling, with that energy, you are now at a place, I don't want to call it a crossroads, but you have made a choice. Some of you are in that stage of, all right, this is the place I want to be. This is the direction I want to go. Now I need to be building on it. So that's one. I'm feeling for some of you, you really are in a state where there has been a lot of negativity that you have experienced in your life. And that has created a lot of stress, and anxiety, not knowing which direction to go, feeling all stuck in the mind. There are a lot of things that people have said and done that have been very hurtful. And it has been a painful cycle again and again. And I'm sensing that some of you are emitting the vibration that I am really tired of the mental thoughts. Will this end? I want to look to a new future, okay? So I want to look to a new future. That is the Ten of Swords. And I feel these two could be together and these two can come together. This is what I'm feeling here because we got two air elements here. So I'm feeling that independently, some of you are in this vibration of learning some things new, wanting to learn and expand your knowledge base, whatever that may be. It could be that you are uh, progressing in your education. You know, you're looking to improve on some sort of a skill set. Some of you are taking some courses, online courses. You are interested in understanding perhaps even aspects of what the universe is. So I'm going to leave that for each one of you to decipher, to understand what those bulbs are. Are these the ideas that you are looking to develop? Are these the ideas that are coming to you? Are these the messages that you are receiving and you're walking carefree, learning and wanting to learn more? 
So the energy that I'm feeling is combined. If these two you're feeling, this is resonating as your vibration is, you're done with that past. That was something of the past. You've gotten some new ideas on how to move forward, perhaps to help you better in improving your relationship with yourself relationship with another perhaps some ideas on how to make more money or go in a different direction how to bring emotional fulfillment how to draw in better relationships so think of the past and new ideas coming this is one energy and with this change and making uh, making a choice this is the card of the choice the two of wands you've made a choice moving towards something you believe now is a new path for you and now you're looking to See how I can grow my community. What is it now that I've taken my ideas, my desires, I've moved to this place. What is the way I can find this community of like-minded people to come together and build something of value? I've made a choice and I'm ready to build. So this is the vibration I'm feeling that those who are connecting right now are at. So what is something that people need to be more receptive to, more open to receiving? And before I begin pulling and drawing the cards, the power of receptivity lies in our ability to open our heart. The heart through which we give is the heart, is the place where we receive. So it's the same door. When past experiences leave us depleted, sad, angry, upset, unfulfilled. Um, it closes the door to receiving even if new and good things are ready to come. So the law of attraction is really helping you to see where, where is your current vibration? Is it in the energy of sadness? Is it in the energy of hope and building together? Where are you at right now without judgment? And I'll, I'll guide you through this reading as to how we can bring about a greater shift so your heart's desire can truly come forth. And I can see that you want to have a new clarity of mind. Perhaps you're wanting to write a book, you want to start a blog, you want to start your own YouTube channel. You, there's, there's an expression that's wishing to come out with this energy. And here is a feeling of you're wanting to build something with other people. Okay, so these are your, your core desires that I'm feeling and picking up here. So let us look at how you can be more open to receiving. Okay, thank you, angels. So this is from my vibrational alignment deck. I love it. I love whoever created it. It's beautiful. The first energy, and I want to give you the numbers because these will be important for you as they are. This is the energy of eight. The energy of eight is that of as above, so below. It's the number for manifestation. Truly, eight is the number for manifestation. And the first way in which you can bring more receptivity in your life you see these pulsations of the universe, right? The rainbow pulsations coming in. It says, I am vibrationally spontaneous. So say that to yourself, I'm spontaneous. Where you've been stuck in old cycles, perhaps not giving yourself any time, overextending giving your energy to other people. And that has left you depleted. Be spontaneous, go some go do something take some time out for yourself something out of the ordinary just at the spur of the moment don't make any plans that will help you and affirm again and again I am vibrationally spontaneous the universe is supporting my spontaneity people places and opportunities are coming to me for I am vibrationally spontaneous okay beautiful energy Oh, this is such a beautiful rose and colors of the flowers. This is card number 28. Again, it has an 8 and 2 and 8 is 10. 1 and 0 is you are bringing about a manifestation from the source, from the entire part of universe, which is the energy of 0, which is all potentialities. 
So in this case, it's saying I am choosing the way I feel in my vibrational self. So I will do some sessions about this and talk about this, about how we can get into the feelings state. Feelings are really an important uh, director, marker to show us what we are experiencing in our life that is showing up in our life in the manifested form. What are the type of relations that are showing up? Look at where your emotions are. Are your emotions more towards feeling sad, apathy, you're, you're not feeling, you're feeling disenchanted or are you feeling more vibrant, more joyful, hope, you know, you're hopeful, you're optimistic. Where, and be honest because it, it, this is not just you talking to somebody positive but internally you're not feeling good. This, this spread is really your internal. This is your vibrational signature. This is what you're emitting at a subconscious level. And that's what you then attract as a way in your actual physical reality. So this one says, I'm choosing the way I feel in my vibrational self. So if you are feeling sad, you are feeling stuck, you are feeling depleted, go, you know, bring the energy of the sun to some breath work and decide that I am going to choose positive no matter what is manifesting outward. I am going to choose happiness for me. I am going to choose to feel good. So maybe it may require at this time for you to, you know, indulge in some good foods and smell some beautiful roses or plants and flowers. Treat yourself to getting some flowers. Open up your senses through aromatherapy, through incense. Do something for yourself, romanticize yourself. This is the self, two and eight. You're, you're getting in touch with your intuition. You're getting in touch with your inner self. You create that love. You create that vibration for yourself. Do not rely on someone else to do that. So open yourself to the knowledge and inner knowing that you have a choice. In every moment, you have a choice. What do you choose? How you choose to react and how you choose to feel is entirely up to you. Don't allow someone else to make you feel a certain way. Take that power back. That's what this law of attraction is saying. And then we have this. It says here, I am filled with wisdom because I live in the vibration of knowledge. You have this wisdom. I'm seeing books learning so learn some new things learn some new things and know that you have innate wisdom in you all you need to do is tap into your own inner self by meditating by getting into a quieter place where you're not constantly bombarded with what other people are telling you you're spending time within you research on your own to see what it is that you need. You research on your own to see how you can build communities. You can't do that. Get yourself educated. Get yourself to have that. You know, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So gain certain strengths and skill sets that will release some of the fears to know more about some things. Okay? So that will help you. That will help you. It will help you be more open to also receiving the guidance. When you are believing you can, you will automatically draw in people who just suddenly they'll appear in your energy field and say, hey, you know what? We have this whole thing starting up right now. We are going to be um, having this circle. Do you want to join? And you go, this is exactly what I was thinking about. Synchronicities, that's what the law of attraction is, is going to start to show up but you must believe that help is there, wisdom is there, knowledge is there. All I need to do is tap into that frequency, okay? This is beautiful. God number 36. And I see the yin and the yang here. And it says here, I am the breath of vibrational love and I create equilibrium in my world. So if you're looking to get that balance, what's, what's coming to you right now, what you're opening up to receiving right now is a balance with love and mind. I'm seeing the mind, I'm seeing the heart. 
So be spontaneous to the energies that are coming in. Believe that you are balanced within. Balance will come to you. Okay? Take balanced approach. Take balanced approach. If you are overly using your logic mind, take some time out from that and allow the yin element to flow through, your own inner guidance to flow through. This has nothing to do with being a male or female. All of us have that. We all have the masculine energy and we all have the feminine energy. So this is what is something that you can be and need. You're needing to be. You're needing to bring that balance in. You're needing to learn some more things, knowing that you already have the wisdom. You're needing to be more open to love giving and receiving you need to be more open to knowing that you have the power of choice of how you feel okay you're needing to be a little bit more spontaneous if you've led a very structured life you know cut yourself some slack give yourself some slack here i'll take some terror messages on um something that the people need to be more open to receiving i'll take one more if one more wants to come, angels. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Beautiful. So, the question is, something that you need to be more open to receiving. You need to be more open to receiving love. The Five of Cups is the energy. Again, I talked about past hurts, losses, regrets, sadness, grief, things not working out. You know, you'd hoped for certain things. They're empty cups. But the universe is here saying that you can choose the way you feel in your vibrational self. Okay, you can choose the way you feel. So you can choose to look at the things that already are existing in your life rather than things that have not worked out. Okay, go do something spontaneous. It's going to shift your energy. Okay, what I'm also seeing here is that this is again, we're drawing a lot of fives and this is 2021, which is the energy of five, which is the five of wands. Perhaps you, you have had to deal with a lot of competition and what you are open to receiving right now is as you shift that energy of conflict as in a challenge and more towards your mindset as this was great this was great learning ground and i am now learning to be more discerning of people i am learning to draw better boundaries for myself i'm learning to learn some things for myself so this competition has been good for me i've lost a few battles but through those losses i've learned a lot so shift the way you feel and see things you this is quite well because you're reaching for the light that light is right there you are getting in this complete equilibrium state and drawing in and magnetizing prosperity and abundance i'm seeing lots of yellows and rainbow colors here it's right there right through the conflict the balance will be restored okay what's opening up for you is the ability for you to take the higher perspective and the higher road the hermit to look at things from a higher perspective look at loss look at conflict look at chaos look at things not working out look at the losses and now choose to rise above you have the wisdom you are in that vibrational knowledge and a vibrational being you understand that you have this ability so if this means for you to take some time out to spend with yourself whatever that may be this person's going on top of the mountain getting connected to the stars and their inner self connecting with that guiding light whatever that looks like for you you know so um, some people love to go for a run and that's where they get connected with the inner self. Some will like to do yoga. Some will go and sit in complete silence and some like to listen to some frequency music. Whatever that may be, take time to connect with your inner self. That's what I'm seeing right here. There's a lot of wisdom that you will gain. This wisdom right under that. Now, what I'm also seeing is there's a new beginning. For you to be open to receiving that and i feel like this person is connected in nature okay uh, she almost looks like she's ready to do a yoga pose 
So I definitely feel like there is a new beginning that's coming to you. The more balance you bring between your emotions and the mind and releasing the past and through forgiveness and compassion, the more in alignment you get, the more peep support is coming to you. Okay, so this is really you're opening up to. So you need to be open to a new way of being is what I'm also seeing. This page of pentacles is perhaps a new way in which you'll be able to create more financial abundance for yourself, more of a security. This is an earth element, something that makes you feel safe and secure, okay? In your own element. Perhaps there's some newness that's coming and you just need to be open and receptive to a different way of being, not being quite stubborn about some things, okay? Beautiful energies. So let's look at what will come about when you are more receptive to the energies flowing in what will open up for the people as they begin to receive freedom beautiful energy thank you what will open up for the people what will open up as they begin to open themselves to receive what will open up for them angels thank you what will open up for the people as they begin opening their heart to receive thank you such beautiful I hope my yes it's recording <laughs> Such beautiful energies. You can never recreate a tarot reading again. Because there's a flow, we are connected to the angelic realm and the messages flow in. So what I'm seeing here is what's going to open up, dears, is freedom. Where you're feeling stuck of thought, of passion, financial freedom freedom from past chains you're releasing all self-imposed restrictions you're choosing your moods you're choosing the direction you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness you're opening your heart you're choosing to release pain you're choosing to release sadness you're choosing to release that energy once and for all and that's going to free up the space in this beautiful heart of yours so it, new things can come into your life what's going to open up to you is your energy field is going to start to reflect and that's our aura it builds outside of the physical body there's going to be that sense that people have with you that they trust you immediately. There's that sense of honesty. You are honest, but it's going to now start radiating outward. And as you radiate that energy outward, that's what we talk about radiance. You begin to attract more honest relationships, more honest people who are going to help you to build upon your dreams more honest offers coming to you so I, I this is what i'm feeling i'm feeling that you'll be attracting to you relationships opportunities for expansion whether it is of a own work entrepreneurship or a you know a movement in your current company or a greater amount of financial you know, freedom's coming to you. You're going to be freeing your energy from the past and you're opening up to the abundant energy. And that's going to be infused in your aura. And by the law of attraction, you're going to start attracting all of that in. And what will happen when you do this through that Ten of Swords, which is a lot of mental anguish, you are opening up to the King of Swords, which is mental stability, maturity, in understanding the life cycles and understanding how to take your mind and use it towards the positive you, you've got some new ideas on how to move forward in your life and how to build upon that knowing the power of your mind is going to be it's coming to you 
this is the gift that's going to open up. What's going to open up is you're going to be reaching to your heart's destiny, the star card. Healing is coming with all of this. And with this healing energy, your aura is infused with these rainbow colors. I'm going to keep this up here because this is what I'm seeing as I'm reading. Um, a lot of the times when I'm speaking, my eyes are closed and then I look at the card. So I'm seeing here, you have been putting this heart energy out, right? I want this new idea. I want something that's going to take firm root. I want something where there is this loving community and I'm safe and secure, you know? I don't need that much, but I want that to be something that keeps me really happy, okay? That was your heart's desire. You're, you're moving towards your heart desire. You're finally learning to balance your emotions. What's opening up for you is as you begin to take these steps, you're moving towards your destined path. You're moving towards what you're meant to experience in this life. You're moving towards your life purpose. This is your heart's calling, your heart's desire. Okay, this is your heart's calling and your heart's desire. What's coming towards you are more understanding people. As you gain understanding, you are drawing those people to you. Supportive people, loving people, mature relationships. Mature does not mean an age. It means an emotional maturity. Emotional maturity. People who are not going to be taking advantage of you. What's going to open up to you is, this is the Nine of Cups, which is all your heartfelt desires being fulfilled. This is like jumping towards, leaping towards all your heart's desire because the heart chakra is open. So as you are learning, what I'm seeing here with this hermit energy here is, as you sit on that mountaintop, wherever that mountaintop is for you, as you sit there and you reflect on the pain caused by others to you, the challenges that you had to face in your life, the relationships that were not good partnerships, that were not equal give and take, it caused a lot of pain, a lot of emotional dissatisfaction. The jobs, the relationships, the people, and you reflect back. And rather than staying in that energy of, you know, this was not fair, this was wrong, I deserved better, feel that part and then let that go. Choose this. You're moving towards a more mature emotional stability. This is a stable energy where you're saying, I'm aligning my will and my heart to the heart of the universe. I'm going to allow myself to be nourished by the beauty and all that the universe wants to nourish me with, all the abundances being showered upon me, everything that I could have ever dreamed of. I have not written in my book of manifestation, but this is something that my heart has always wanted, and you know what I wanted, God. And you are trusting that. This is ready to open. And as you trust and you take that leap forward, all your wishes are granted. This is beautiful energy. And this actually goes in alignment with the next question, how you can take the next step. What is it that you must do to take that leap of faith? So this leap of faith, what is it that the people must do to take this leap of faith? This also wanted to come. Root chakra, I was wondering, beautiful energy that has come forth as the next step you need to take. This is card number 33 and it says sun goddess. I am seeing here card 33, number 33 represents to me is Christ consciousness, Christic energy, infinite abundance, love flowing down. I'm seeing an awakening of ancient wisdom within you, connection to the deep wisdom of Egypt, Atlantis. I I'm seeing these olden texts and energies flow in. So what your next step is celebrating every moment, every moment of your life as a celebration.
So this is saying here, look at this. Okay, a lot of yellow. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So for some of you, the direct message is if you are blessed by being able to see and feel the energy of the sun, begin some sun mantras, begin to meditate at sunrise to bring in the solar energy. The solar energy helps to cleanse out the channel, the masculine channel within us, which is the energy of taking action, which is the energy of movement and bringing in abundance is the energy of action. Okay, so celebrating, celebrating the flow of life, celebration of your life, not from a period of lack, but wow, I told you, you're reaching for the stars, you're reaching for that destiny. This is again, that same card. I'm feeling all of you are, this is it. Look at all of this, reaching to the light, reaching to that abundance is flowing, reaching to that fire, connected to that infinite source. All of these are connected to the source energy, all of them. What your next step is also, going to help you is to ground your energy. What we mean by that is spend time in nature to connect the feet, plant the, plant your feet and build that sense of safety and security, whether it's through affirmations, it's through changing of a diet, uh, doing some physical exercise where you get this, you, you begin to bring your awareness to the present moment. When we are worrying, we are living in the future or we are thinking about the past, right? We're thinking about the past of what didn't happen, what could happen, what should happen and rather becoming that spontaneous person, you're going to be bringing your awareness to the present moment, okay? And then you begin to hone in on that, I have everything I need. I have everything I need to survive and to grow on this physical plane. I am eternally loved, protected, and cared for. So nurturing yourself is going to be the step. That's gorgeous. Thank you, angels. It's perfectly another card number five, the root chakra. What's the next step? Death and rebirth. I don't even want to pull anything else. And we have then the moon's energy at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm seeing is your next step is going to be allow this change to take place. You hold that power. Allow the divine feminine power, which is the number 13, for you to transmute that old life and walk into this new dream. To attract this infinite abundance, to rise above the conflict, to rise above judgment, to rise above resentment, to rise above anger. And just come in the flow of celebration, choosing your own vibrational frequency. Allow things to, old things to just fall apart so the new can be birthed. This is a beautiful energy. And I'm seeing the divine feminine energy here. What would be good? What would help them in bringing about this rebirth, angels? And now I'll ask this question with this death card. What are we bringing about? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. Grounded energy, root chakra. This is all the earth element. So start to take small steps. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy, but it's a perfect energy I feel all of us need to learn and understand. And that is moving towards things slowly and steadily, doing the right things, taking the right steps, building upon things slow and steady. And as you begin to do that and you take these small steps, which may seem like seemingly st small steps, a brand new beginning is opening up for you. The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this brand new beginning is going to be your heart's desire that opens up. Now, my next question is, how can the people manifest even more successfully? Okay, how can the people manifest all these dreams and desires more successfully? These are the next steps I told you, but what is it? Trust. I think the trust came up somewhere. I set my intention and I trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. Law of attraction. Trust yourself. So set the intention and trust in your own ability to create this. Set the intention and trust in your ability to improve your circumstances. When you believe in your ability to improve the circumstances, the circumstances will 
change and improve for you because that's your belief pattern. That's what you feel. That's what you think. That's what you're living. That's your intention. That's where you're focusing your energy. And the more you're focusing your energy on your ability to improve the circumstances, the more the, the opportunities and the people are coming in your vibrational alignment to help you move forward. And therefore, this death of the old is taking place so the birthing of the new can come in. I like that. Um, I'm going to close out the reading very soon. I'll take one more message from here, angels, on... How can the people manifest even more successfully? How can the people manifest even more successfully right now? Thank you. The king. Wow. Solar energy, solar energy. Sun. Okay. This one talked about the sun goddess which they're, they're adding on the feminine element. And I talked about the intuition, the yin element, and we got the masculine and the feminine. This is the king. King is the ruler, right? Ruler of your kingdom, your life, your kingdom. That's your life. That's your kingdom. So I powerfully lead my mission. That's your mantra. I powerfully lead my mission. I celebrate each sunrise and I recognize the healing energies of the sun, sun and sun. Is it by accident that these things just come up? I mean, this is again the law of attraction. What you're meant to hear is what I'm being called to pull out. That's what just comes out of my hands. I'm not doing anything. So what will really help you is to get in this vibration. A king is mature looks at failures as a as a growth looks to opportunities is faces the fear and courageously move forward courage doesn't mean you're not afraid courage means you're looking at things they're scaring the shit out of you but you're still going to do it you're fearless about it and begin to be responsible in your life take charge of your life begin to take responsibility for things that are taking place okay so if things and circumstances seem where you feel stuck choose the way you feel that's being responsible that i'm choosing something right being creative that's what this, the king is you know you're coming up with different the solar energy is going to get you to direct in so many different ways so don't be fearful of making a few mistakes that's great now I learned, I know better, right? So you'll be inspired and you'll also serve as an inspiration to others. That's what I'm seeing is opening up for you. You being inspired and as you're inspired, it's a natural part for you to take care of your kingdom. You'll naturally inspire others, you know? So hold the vision. This is visionary. That's a visionary energy I'm feeling. Hold the vision and go forth for it and trust yourself beautiful thank you i'll take final two messages on what is the message that the higher self wants for you to know the source energy the spirit what message do they have for the people for this law of attraction spread empowerment king king energy again this is all solar plexus you are more powerful than you realize. You are more powerful than you realize. Your higher self, source energy, spirit is guiding you with this message. You are more powerful than you realize. So powerfully lead your mission. You are regal. You are passionate. You're sovereign. You're benevolent. You're creative. You're innovative. You're decisive. You're directive. You are inspiring and you're visionary. You are more powerful than you realize. And it is safe for you to be powerful. Celebrate the sunrise. Celebrate and recognize the healing energies of the sun. You are powerful. More powerful than you realize. Final message. Transmutation. To me, that is the death god changing of the old and bringing about the new archangel michael okay our thought forms change your perspective change your thoughts 
law of attraction. Attract what you believe. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Let all those old quote unquote battles just wither away to the past. All right, I knew where I was weak. I know now what I need to do. I'm no longer going to be going that route. Okay, that just did not fare well for me. Which direction do I choose? Yes, this is an uncarved path, but I am a pioneer. I am not afraid to carve a new path for myself, even if it means going against the grain. Okay, I am powerful. The energy of transmutation is here for you. The death God is here, bringing in this tremendous light. So the darkness, the dark night, the hermitage, you being hidden, um, not being out in the sun, not being visible by yourself. It is time to make yourself visible now. You are ready to embrace the light. No longer do you need to be in the shadows. You can choose, you can choose not to disassociate from the shadows, but to say, I see the shadow. I see that these things have caused me pain and that there is a hurt. There are these marks, but I am willing to try again. I'm willing to try in a relationship again. I'm willing to try a new career and build from ground up one more time. I have the courage. I have the trust. I have the faith. I am in the vibrational match of my desires. My desires are being manifested now. Everything that I've ever dreamed of is right here. I love it. I feel it. I know it. I love it. I love it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I am powerful. I am powerful to bring about a change in my life, which is healthy for me, which is my life purpose and through my life purpose I am helping others achieve their life purpose. I embody the energy of the goddess. I embody the energy of the king and I bring my dreams to reality. I embrace and celebrate every moment I celebrate every sunrise and I recognize the healing energies of the sun. <sighs> so I send you love, I send you light, I send you a tremendous amount of manifestation. May all your heart's desires come to fruition. If you'd like a personal reading for yourself, have a look at the details in the description and we can go from there. I'll talk to you soon. This is Arsha.